Hi, good afternoon. Uh, Christine, Traderverse, thank you guys so much for having me up. Uh, hopefully everyone else is having a good day today. Um, so uh, actually, this is going to a uh, couple questions asked. I think Trader actually asked this, you know, kind of like what is your personal like, you know, introduction to NFTs? And me, I, I started overall investing in March of this year. I'm actually uh, just a little give a little bit about myself. I'm an AMC ape. Uh, I hold the stonk. I love the stock. It's very good. <laughs> um, but actually, awesome. down the line, around, I want to say, May or June, there was an ape I met in the community, and he introduced me to his concept of uh, the Nifty Ape Nation NFT idea he had. And I was following him for a few months, and you know, he just sent me a few like designs and uh, drafts and stuff like that. But uh, as you can see, my profile picture, it's actually my personal ape what blew me away with his project is just the overall versatility of these NFTs. These are 3D rendered avatars that you can actually like request to have your likeness and put onto it and stuff like that. Um, there, you can also use them. Me personally, when I would do when I would hold spaces, I would like do announcements of like AMC, GameStop tickers, uh, other tickers that are requested, and I would actually make videos. Um, with my voice clip in with my ape actually acting out what I'm narrating. So there's a big use case for these kinds of NFTs. And what I like about it is not only that is, but we, there's also a nifty ape fighting game in development. So the versatility just keeps stacking and stacking and stacking. And what I like the most about it is the level of communication about it, because you can use your apes as kind of like for a social aspect. You can use them for gaming. You can use them to communicate DD if you're in a part of the stock market community and whatnot, or even crypto communities. The level of social behind these NFTs is what I like the most about it, because, you know, for me personally, when it comes to just like, you know, Andy Warhol JPEG masters, like some someone did previously mention, you know, some of it is for quick gains and whatnot. But me, I look at the long term, you know, there's the matter of the bomb going off, but then there's the matter of the aftermath, the fallout. And I want these NFTs to be able to have a long term use case. And that's what, like, honestly hooked me in on this project. Actually, um, my uh, uh, actually the person higher up of me, if uh, would it be OK if I actually put something up to the top uh, so you guys could see more of what the project is about? I'll make the call. I, I, I don't have a problem with it. If, 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 if we do, then we won't do it in the future, but I, I... <laughs> yeah, that's, that's all right. Fine. Perfect. I, I really appreciate it. Uh, give me one sec. And, and the reason why I think it's probably a good idea is it shows, you know, everything you just said shows kind of a real world use case of a, you know, what sounds like a pretty cool technology to have. And I think part of what Traderverse will also be, will be, you know, a community, like you just said, you're part of the, you identified yourself immediately as I'm an AMC ape, right? It's like you, it's, it's your tribe. It's your, you know, that, that, that's who you identify with. And I think Traderverse will help to, uh, you know, create that culture to where people will feel like a, a part of whether it be a certain creator or a certain project or something like that. So that's why I think maybe this is, uh, you know, kind of showing the spirit of, you know, how we can kind of bond around NFTs because there is a social aspect to it. Uh, without the social aspect to it, I think NFTs, at least the art side of NFTs, um, can lose a little bit of value. I think one of the things to add in with that, though, is um, like with Gregory saying with the uh, or with his with that project is he has his own culture. But with that is to not establish these click subcultures, you know, where we have a cross yeah. culture across the NFT space and not basically everyone having their own like. Oh, I have a bored ape, so I'm not going to talk to you. You know, that's that uh, I heard in another space, and it's like we don't we don't want that here. You know? Yeah, it's true. It's almost like I don't know the word for it, but um, depending, it almost is like depending on which NFT you have, and if you have like one of the ones that are high up there, it starts to be like a flex. You know. Um, towards other people and then they build like clicks it's pretty funny <laughs> i've seen that happen time and time again is yeah it, it it does get to be to where you get the groups that don't want to intermingle with each other and it's it's just silly it's like a it's like a bad high school <laughs> so actually 
You can't sit with Could us. Could I right. possibly just elaborate a little bit just on that aspect of the project? Sure. Um, okay, so when it comes to that, there are like there are def- obviously tears with some of the apes and stuff. But what I want to say is like the Nifty Ape ne- Nation collection, it only features like six rarity types. But the thing is, is you'll be able to per- like even for team members, there's no such thing as like pre-listing or pre-purchasing or anything like that. Because that honestly, that was one of my first questions when it came to joining this project is. I don't like exclusivity because I believe that's just opening a door to manipulation and just causing a lot of havoc that doesn't need to be there. Um, When it comes to at least the team aspect of things, um, there's only so much I can actually say, but it it can only be three purchases and they're all, it's all randomized. There is nothing pre-selected. And I was provided enough reassurance, at least from what I was taught from the project that gave me a lot of faith. with you know look what i got and there's obviously some in in my view some more malevolent like ulterior motives behind that so i mean i i'm all about the fairness great great and and yeah there does i'm glad to see that that is important with this project and with all these projects this is what's great is there's so many different use cases that, you know I, I, I even like your link there that says ape fight club there's just so many different ways that we can take this in gaming. Okay, so we, we've already given a little bit of, uh, you know, let's get into the, the nuts and bolts of NFTs. But, you know, so you can own something digital, right? And you can own whether it be a board ape or, you know, uh, what you're showing here with, uh, you know, AMC apes, this sort of thing. There's all kinds of cool projects that you can own. But gaming, to me, that is a whole nother realm that's going to create a huge industry in an industry that's already there in gaming and what i mean by that is um okay i'm 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 older than many of you okay and uh i used to play just the original super mario brothers okay and uh i would uh i'd try to get these coins right i'd just jump through the levels try to get the coins and eventually i would get them but whenever i turned off the game um i i wouldn't have the coins or if i played zelda and i accrued a lot of coins and maybe bought something cool with it In the end, that's not mine. I don't still own the bow and arrow that I had from Zelda, although I wish I did. But in this new era of gaming, you may actually own, literally own, that digital representation of a car that you have in a racing game, the armor that you have in a fighting game. You may actually own that, and you could actually sell it. Um, You could actually sell, you know, let's say I have a buddy, that says, hey, uh, I would like to have that car from you. It's really fast in in this racing game. You can actually sell that to them because, it's again, you own this digital, you know, representation of what's in there. So whether we're talking that you could, uh, you know, get into a concert and have that social, you know, you know ability to uh, go into a concert than something that normally just took a, a ticket, or if you're talking uh, like this uh, cool project that's uh, a pin to the top right now, or if you're even talking gaming, which, like I said, I think you know, play to earn gaming is going to be huge. It's all using NFTs, and the basics of it is that you own something that is digital, that's completely identifiable to you. And by I mean you, I mean your wallet address, which is unidentifiable, and that may be a hard concept to understand. Be sure to listen in to all of our weekly shows and follow us on Twitter for updates.